This training video was developed at the Statistical Services Centre at the University of Reading. It's part of a set of resources aimed primarily at researchers. So far in these demonstrations, we have been working on the data dictionary, creating the records, items and value sets. In this demonstration, we will start to work on preparing the data entry form. Ideally, you should make your data entry form resemble your questionnaire as much as possible. This makes data entry easier. Remember that data entry is often done by unskilled staff who aren't familiar with the questionnaire or the survey, and if what they see on the screen resembles the paper questionnaire, they are more likely to enter the values into the correct places. The screen is currently showing the questionnaire on the right and the data entry form on the left. This is the form layout that we will be working towards. CS Pro can generate a default form based on the current dictionary and this is a good place to start for beginners. You need to click the forms item on the toolbar and then choose edit generate forms. You'll receive a warning about existing forms being lost. But we say yes to this to continue as we haven't yet started working on the forms. We accept the drag options as they are. For more information about drag options, see the CS Pro Help. CS Pro creates three forms for us. One for the identification item, one for the household record, and one for the activity record. We can use these forms for data entry as they are, but it would be better in a different format as we have already explained. We will adjust the forms so they gradually start to look more like the questionnaire. For this demonstration, we will work on the form created for the household record. We'll start by moving items around to make space for extra text. The easiest way to select a group of items is to hold down the mouse button while you stretch a temporary box over the items you want to select. This is a bit like stretching a band over those items. An item must be completely within the box or band when you release the mouse button in order to be selected. You can then move the selection either by dragging it with the mouse or by using the arrow keys. If the items to be selected are not adjacent, then click the first item and hold down the control key while you click the other items in turn. If you find you move things you didn't intend to move, then a useful button is the undo button. As you move items around the screen, you may want to align several of them, either to the right, left, top or bottom. Rather than doing this manually, which is possible but tedious and time consuming, CS Pro provides the Align menu. Let's move the sources of income items so they are two per row. We move pension and salary across to the right. Then we want to align sale of crops with the pension. We choose Align and Top. We do the same with the sale of livestock and the salary. And there very quickly we have these items nicely aligned. We can add as much text as needed to the form. So for example we can add section headers. Let's add the header for section 1, household information. We right click on the form uh, and approximately the place where you want the text to appear. It doesn't have to be exact as we can always move it later. We choose add text. We type in the text we want. Now the default font is Arial 10 point bold, but we can use a custom font 
And for this text, we will use size font size 16. So we select the option for custom font and to click choose font. Just change the size to 16. We click OK and then OK again. And here's our section header, which we can move around as, as much as we like. If you want the text to span two lines on the screen, you will need to add this as two separate pieces of text. CS Pro only allows a piece of text to be on a single line. For example, the text for the sources of income, what, source, what sources of cash income does your household have, spans two lines on the questionnaire. So to mimic that, we need to put on the form as two separate pieces of text, and we align them as necessary once they're on the form. So we right click, choose add text. We'll change the font to remove the bold. Then we put the second line on. And we'll line these to the left. And move the bottom one up very slightly. Existing labels can be adjusted by right-clicking on them and choosing properties. For example, we will change the text for household size to match that on the questionnaire. We right-click on household size, we choose properties. We change the text as appropriate and we will change the font. As the label now overlaps the data item, we carefully select the data item and move it across to the right using the arrow keys. You can see how the form is gradually taking shape and with the skills demonstrated here you should be able to format the household record form to resemble that section of the questionnaire. In the next demonstration, we will look at formatting the activity record and the identification item and pulling all items onto a single form.